Remember in your physics textbook, you saw these things like, okay, we have resistors in parallel, and we have resistors in series, and we have equivalent resistances. So if I have two resistors in series, uh, I can replace that with a, with a single resistor that's just the sum of the resistances. And this is for two, but you could do it for three or four, or whatever. So you just add them together. If they're in parallel, then the equivalent resistance, one over the equivalent resistance is one over R1 plus one over R2. And again, you can add as many as you want. So I'm gonna derive these for you uh, just to see where they come from because you know you wanna know where those things come from. You don't want to say, oh, they came from they came from the you know the physics lore. It was just handed down from generation to generation, and that's not true. Okay, let's start with series is actually pretty easy. Imagine that I have two resistors connected to a battery like this. And this is has a battery voltage of EMF. So there's a current I going through there. This is R1, that's R2. We can use the loop rule, which says delta V loop equals zero. So let's add up the voltages around this loop. Uh, if I start from here to there, I get EMF. And then I have the voltage drop across R2 is gonna be minus I R2 minus I R1 equals zero. Now let's factor out the I here. I can write this as EMF equal, no, nope, EMF minus I R1 plus R2 equals zero. Now suppose I want to replace this circuit with a single resistor R equivalent. Well, if I do the loop roll there, I get EMF minus I R equivalent equals zero. So you can see from this and this that they're the same, they have the same current if R equivalent is R1 plus R2. The end. That was easy, I told you that was easy. Okay, parallel is a little bit more complicated but we can do it. Let's imagine that we have a parallel circuit. It looks like this resistors in parallel. Here I have R1, here I have R2, this is EMF, R1, R2. Okay, now I have current, I'll call that I, but some of that current's going to go through here, I1, and some's going to go through here, I2. So I is I1 plus I2, that's the junction rule. Now let's use the loop rule. So the loop rule, I'm gonna do it twice. I'm gonna do this loop and I'm gonna do this loop. So this loop says EMF. There's no resistor in this first part, so I don't have to worry about that. I only have to worry about this. I1, R1 equals zero. And here, EMF minus I2, R2 equals zero. Right, if I go around this loop, so I get those two. Let's solve this for I1. I1 is gonna be EMF over R1. And if I solve this one, I get I2 equals EMF over R2. Now let's plug these into that equation up there. I is I1 EMF over R1 plus EMF over R2. And I can write that as EMF times one over R1 plus one over R2. Now imagine I have one single circuit with a single resistor R equivalent. I have the same battery, EMF. I have a current I, and I want to write the loop rule here. I get uh, EMF minus I R equivalent equals zero. Well, I can write that just like this, solve for I. I get I equals EMF over one over R equivalent. So here I have I, here I have I, that's an F. EMF times this, EMF times that. So these two things have to be the same 
because they have the same current. So there I have 1 over R equivalent equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. Parallel resistances. And did it in under six minutes. There you go. Uh, so I, I do want to add right here, this is a common, if you only have two, just to be clear, 1 over R equivalent, I said 1 over R, eq not times eq equals 1 over r1 plus 1 over r2 if i get a common denominator here i can multiply this by r2 over r2 multiply this by r1 over r1 i get r2 over r1 r2 plus r1 over r1 r2 so this is equal to r1 plus r2 over r1 r2 and that's equal to 1 over R equivalent. And then if I take the inverse of both sides, I get R equivalent is R1, R2 over R1 plus R2. And that only works for two resistors, but that does come up from time to time, the end. I'll talk to you later.